People ask me what I do for a living and I say I'm a running coach, okay? I, and I teach classes to adults. Mostly I teach classes to adults. And then they kind of look and go, running classes for adults, where's that at? And I go, there's more adults running now today than ever before. And there's also more people getting injured than ever before. And it's, there's a huge population out there that would love to run, love to learn how to run better, but they're afraid of it because they're either going to get hurt or they are hurt or they're trying to recover from it or whatever. And so when I saw that there was a need for people to really want to run without hurting themselves, that's all they really want, then I, we have spent the last 12 years figuring out how to show them how to do that. The thing about Body Listeners with Two Running is that in order to get your body opened up so that your energy will flow through your body, you want to make sure that all of the joint areas in your body are nice and open and relaxed before you start running so that if you're tight anywhere, when you start to go run, the impact that you get from that, even though it's minimized with Two Running, you still have impact. So you want to minimize it by opening up these joint areas around your body. To let people know that there's not a limitation on what they can accomplish is a huge thing. And for them to, not only for you to let them know that, to guide them to that, but then for them to realize that that is really true, that I don't have to limit myself to a 5K, or I don't have to limit myself to walking, or I don't have to limit myself to not trying anymore because I had this one diagnosis, to move forward knowing that you can do something that maybe other people say you couldn't or you shouldn't try and to open that up and uh, to a world without those limitations i think is powerful if you really start looking at your running as a practice then every time you go out to run you're always really being mindful and paying attention to what your connection with it is what you can get from it what's possible with it what uh, you're always listening you're always discovering that's what it's about. It's, a, it's definitely a practice and that's the only way you'll really gain the benefits fully is if you really practice it. I'll turn to your right. Good. And then keeping your hips towards me, drop your right elbow down to the ground. A couple years ago, um, Danny did a presentation at the YWCA and I didn't have anything to do on that Sunday and I didn't have any idea what it was, but I got an email about it and I thought, well, I'll go. And it was mesmerizing. I called my daughter afterwards and said, you're not gonna believe what you can do um, running. With running or walking, people just say, go do it. There's no instruction. And so a lot of people do even subtle things that are wrong that lead to a lot of injuries and discomfort. And it's nice to have that basic, simple, information of how to hold your body, how to keep your form, how to make things easier and using less effort and help prevent the injuries. They say, this has changed my life. And so we've been really trying to figure out why it's so powerful, why it's so impactful. And you know, we have a couple theories about that. One of, one of them being that we are truly born to run and that we have this innate need to run, actually. We have an innate need to move. But what we're really finding is, is that when people are allowed to run, really run, run free, run well, without pain, that it brings up a lot of joy. Make sure your weight's over that front foot, and then do it again. Start with your hips. Start with your pelvis. I did a half marathon and I did a personal best. I did 11 minutes less than last year and no pain. It was the first half marathon I've ever run that I really enjoyed the whole thing and it was just kind of effortless. When you go about changing your movement habits that you've had your whole life, you know, the best way to do it is in small pieces. It's like trying to break a habit. You just do little tiny pieces at a time. So what we've done is we've taken how all the aspects of chi running broken them down into various little focuses and then you just take on one at a time just the smallest little steps and then you eventually you know just keep practicing these things and over a period of time if you're consistent with your practice 
they start adding up. It starts getting intuitive. You start getting a body sense of what it feels like to have all these things working. Close your eyes and think about how somebody, a kid running, that's the first thing they do. And they'll close their eyes and they'll see it. And they'll see the kid lean mm -hmm. into their run. I say, well, that, we're just trying to pe teach people how to run with joy and without injury like they're kids again. People say, well, I've run my whole life. And so we just tell them, yeah, you've run your whole life and you probably know how to run, but you don't run the same way you did when you were a kid. And that's why you're getting injured now and you didn't get injured when you were a kid. So really it's taking the, peasant, the body they have currently and just saying, look, here's where you can get back to how you used to run.